had to pay for a shoe. Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. This kind of video is my favorite type to film because not only do I really obviously enjoy all these fashion pieces that I'm about to show you, but I'm also like, I have a little reflection moment where I'm standing in front of my shoe shelves and I'm thinking, okay, what shoes am I actually really mostly 100% excited to be wearing and what are my favorites what are not so much of my favorites sometimes during the preparation process of filming these videos I actually get to get rid of some pieces and I kind of just say okay this definitely I'm not gonna wear because right now that I kind of ask myself the question I understood that this is not a very highly coveted piece in my wardrobe you know so to, in today's video, I got 15 pairs of shoes that are my absolute favorite for spring, summer, 20. They're mostly new collection shoes, so you should be able to find them all to buy. I will try and link everything in the description box below, including the dress that I'm wearing right now because I love this dress, but that's not the topic of today. I kind of have them in some sort of, well, not really in categories, but there's like 10 pairs of heels and there are five flat versions. They're mostly sandals from what I can see, kind of, and you are going to find out now my top 15 shoes for spring, summer 20. I'm not doing them in like, okay, so this is the pair number one. They're just, I'm grabbing them from next to me. So let's do this. To start off, of course, I have to mention the uh, beautiful rainbow colored Aquatsura sandals. I love these babies so much. I think they're just so beautiful, uh, very, very different to everything else that I own in my wardrobe and kind of like different when it comes to color. I never really told that I would like something this colorful because, I don't know, they at first they seemed a little bit too girly, but then I tried them on and then I started looking in them. I really fell in love with them. They're really beautiful. I have never worn them yet, obviously, because I just got them uh, recently. But what I wanted to say is that they do come in gold and silver variation. You have seen them very recently in one of my videos. I think they're very simple, beautiful for summer, for tanned legs, which mine are, by the way, kind of tanned now because I've been sunbathing in my garden, but... That's another topic. I'm not gonna be able to talk about each pair forever because then this video will last like, you know, way too long. Next pair I'm gonna show you is a green pair of Amina Muadi Begum heels. Now these shoes are probably impossible to find now, but I will try and get on a little mission to find a pair for you guys. Uh, they come in so many different colors. Mine are green. I just really, really loved these. I love the beautiful buckle in the front. I love the satin, of course, the signature Amina Muadi heel still new. I got mine um, like relatively recently but I really love them and I cannot wait for summer like spring summer months even autumn this you can wear even in autumn with jeans and like a white shirt just very very simple I really like them and they're actually very comfortable because of the Amina Moadi heel which is so sturdy these shoes are just like incredible incredible next up i mean who would i even be if i wouldn't be talking about bottega right so these bottega sandals they come in many different colors i opted for black which for me is like shocking shocking for anybody else black and beige are probably the most obvious choices for me the most shocking choice because it's just yeah not me but they come in so many different colors like sort of eggshell light blue i believe like orange purple purple is stunning white but this was the first drop and i got these before the fashion month i wore them a lot and the most incredible thing about these shoes is the way they are made i've spoken about it before but i will mention it again daniel lee has kind of came up with a new technology where he's used all the unused cashmere from the previous collections and he has uh, lined the sole of the shoe with them they're extremely comfortable they are are literally like walking on clouds and for that specific reason I love them very much very very much I think they'll be really really amazing for all the way up until deep fall especially because of the color right another pair that I wore uh, throughout the fashion month are these uh, Rene Calvilla shoes more like sandals I would say but they have this little sock crystallized sock bit I mean these shoes are <sighs> Like they're sparkly, they're very much like a red carpet shoe. They're spectacular. I, I think they're spectacular. I wore them a few times, but as you can see, they have the glitter uh, sole at the bottom that looks pretty intact and clean. 
which is something I really appreciate about a shoe. Um, I love how comfortable they are because usually when a shoe has many many crystals they tend to be painful. They tend to kind of dig in the foot or when there's a lot of glitter it tends to be uncomfortable but not with these because this glitter I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell but it's like a stretch material. Very very stretchy sock. So nothing hurts, nothing is itching, nothing is um, scratching and I think the shoes look so sexy. Oh, baby. I have to say, I'm not so devastated that there will not be um, Cannes Film Festival this May. Cannes, I love. In May, it's just so beautiful. You know, you go around, it's stunning, but um, I'm not like obsessed with the film festival, whereas Venice Film Festival is my favorite. And which, at this point, I doubt they will, they will Hold it, they will have it. If they don't, I have to say that kind of does upset me a little bit because Venice Film Festival is probably my favorite event of the year. But yeah, these shoes just reminded me obviously, like it's Brandon Caudilla and also Venice, you know. Let's keep going. I have a pair of Cassidy Blade sandals. Now, I wore something similar to these at Cannes Film Festival last year, just in gold, like the same kind of blade shape of sandal, but they were completely gold, whereas these are python leather uh, with a bit of stitching. I mean, blade heel for me is just the sexiest heel there is when you just want to feel a little bit extra, when you want to feel kind of, you know. I've never, I've never, ever, ever, ever heard a man complain about blade heels. Oh. Most of my shoes are quite uh, man repelling, as you guys know. I mean, wait for me to get to the Chanel Grandpa sandal, you know. But these are beautiful. I have another pair of Cassidy um, suede heels that I recently got, but those are more for me, like for fall, not so summery. However, these would be like a perfect kind of summer night out sandal. Beautiful. There are a few Bottega sandals in this um, video and I really did try to limit it. I was like, look, like I'm not gonna get all of them out as I would have wanted to. So like there were a few ones left behind that I was like, no, someone has to stay behind, you know? I cannot just show a collection of Bottega. So these have made a cut and they are the very minimalistic uh, white Bottega sandals. These are like a nine centimeter heels. For me, this is like an everyday heel. I could work, walk in these probably like forever because it's not really that high. They're square toe, which I love. I think they're very flattering on the foot. They go with so many different things like jeans or dresses, of course. White with a tanned foot. I mean, do we even have to discuss that? Also, I think these look amazing with the trousers because they have this like belt here, which actually you can kind of almost even remove. You shouldn't because then this bit is dangling in the back but they can go over the trouser to make that effect, you know, the fashion cool effect. So anyway, love these sandals. You guys have seen the pink version. In the My Teresa video, I told you that I actually prefer the white. <sighs> Celebi, this is not gonna be a surprise what I'm gonna show you now. And you guys got it. I'm talking about the Saint Laurent Cassandra sandals. These are probably the sexiest sandals out there. I love them. I love how they look like on foot. I love these. There's something about the three like belts, like minimalistic belts around the foot, which I will talk to you about in a second. But I really love these. I, mine have a black logo in the front. There's many different variations, like a silver logo, a golden logo, a logo with a palm. They're beautiful and mine are also very neat. Uh, with these sandals, I just think, you know, you cannot really go wrong. And um, I really, really, really love them. Love them. So much so that I even got them in a flat version, which you will find out soon because they made a cut. <laughs> little spoiler. Talking about the three little belts. The most difficult part about filming this video is that I had to try on all of these shoes, put them on, walk a little bit for like a minute each. There's like 15 pairs, you do the mats. And it's kind of like putting on a sandal which has three belts to buckle in and then off, and then in, and then off. Let me just tell you, my feet don't really love that kind of game, you know, because you're constantly squeezing your feet in a new pair of shoes, and another pair of shoes, and another pair of shoes, and another pair of shoes, and 15 times. But when I put these on, I was like, God, I love these. They maybe are my favorite, favorite, favorite. I think they're so beautiful. They look so beautiful on the foot. They're so comfortable, the glitter, the sparkle, the crystals, they're minimalistic, but they're extra. How can that be? Please explain that to me. Honestly, 
love them. Cannot wait to wear them. Cannot wait. I, I want to wear them all the time. That's what's going to happen this summer. The moment they say the world is free, there's a vaccine, there's a medication, there's a cure, we'll all be good, we will all live forever. Not forever, but you know, long, as long as we want to. I'm going to be wearing these shoes everywhere. Is that okay? I hope so. Charlotte, like every other normal woman in Manhattan, had a thing for shoes. I think like the last pair of kind of heel, heel, heel shoes that I want to show you is from, guess the brand, Bottega. <laughs> God, it's not a surprise. A lot of you can compare what is wrong with my like language. These shoes, when I posted them, a lot of you commented that they actually look like snakes around the foot, which I wouldn't mind because you guys know how much I love snakes. But these are a little bit special. They're kind of yellowy, beigey version. Uh, the heel is not very high. I would think it's 80 millimeter maybe nine, eight, nine centimeters overall. They're beautiful. They're sort of like a, a flip-flop type in the front and they go around the ankle. Now these come in three different colors, in brown, in olive green, sort of like military vibe, and in this color over here. This is the color that my wardrobe needed the most. I got the brown version in flats. Now I did not include the flats in here, but I have included the heels just because I felt like I had some other flats that I thought were like absolutely incredible. But these shoes I really really love. They're not very square in the front, which you will notice. They're more like a rounded, which for a Bottega is a little bit unusual. But I think they're beautiful. They have another pair of similar coming um, this summer. Should be from 1st of May really, so should be already out. Uh, and they are a little bit different in the front, but they also have a wrap around the ankle and they're not Python. So if Python is kind of bothering you, there is another option, which I will also try and link for you guys so that you can check that out. And I have two of them, not just one, because I have two feet and two shoes then, you know, come with two feet usually. Well, I don't know, um, most of the time. Imagine if we had to pay for a shoe. Let's talk about the flatter version. Next pair of shoes I'm gonna show to you still has a small heel. I love these Attico um, kind of small, small, small kitten heel shoes. I wear these during fashion month a lot. I love the pointy kitten heel shoes, even though when you wear size 39, your foot is like a freaking, mine are in 39, your foot is like really long. You know, I can't really, really complain. I love these shoes, love them. And to be very honest, the satin part is really good because I wore them one day, I was going to Lamban show and it started raining like crazy after the show and you cannot see it anywhere on the shoe. So very happy about that. Now the flattened version, flatter, flatter versions. You guys are gonna hate me and you guys are gonna be like, what is wrong with you? But these are the shoes that I've already worn the most of all the shoes that I have. They are the grandpa sandals that are like impossible to find right now because they're so sold out that it's incredible. Like basically if you try and find these on the what I call black market, but kind of like second market, they are 2000, like they're crazy expensive because everybody wants them. I got them the moment that they came out. Mine are the rubber versions, though I do love the tweed ones as well. But I thought if I get these, I can wear them to the pool, to the beach, you know, they'll be perfect because I don't really have something that I can wear to the beach in a way. I love them. They're, they're amazing. I wear them all the time. They're so comfortable. They're everything for me. Probably the most worn shoes from this whole video are my... These are not called Oran because they have the like small heel, but they have a different name. But guys, I cannot even show you how much I wore these. And I have these in two colors, so the tan and the red. But I think the tan is what I'll probably be wearing the most. I would love to get a few more colors maybe <laughs> so that they match my uh, bag collection. But to be honest, I hate the kind of like old fashioned matching the shoes to the bag. I mean, not that I hate it. I love it, but I'm just not that like um, good at doing it. So I quite like to unmatch things. I quite like asymmetric. Like you guys know that I never really wear too matching earrings. Don't know what happened to me today. I love these shoes and I would get them in a few other colors, perhaps either even without a heel because so far I only have the ones with the heel. And remember how I told you that the Saint Laurent shoes I loved so much that I even got the flat version. Now these are the Cassandra flat 
sandals. They're more like a silver color with a black logo. Very simple, nothing special. These go really well in the summer months with my black dresses. When I just put this on, a black dress, big sunglasses, no makeup, ponytail, and I run out. It's a girly sandal, but I like them. They also go really well with boyfriend jeans, sandals, white t-shirt, done. For me, these are great. Of course, you have to have a pedicure, but to be honest, like there's no excuse for not having a pedicure. I mean, that's at least what I think, but then, yeah. The last and probably the most commercial piece that maybe you're not really gonna see quite fitted as something that I would show because I think it's quite commercial, but I love them, are the Valentino Rockstead sandals. These are the gold ones, yeah. Someone recently commented the black ones are the most flattering when you are tanned. But I think they're all really flattering with your tan because when your feet are tanned, just like oh, I love, I love when my feet are tanned, when my legs are tanned. I think that's the most beautiful thing. These are just very simple because they go well with all the dresses. They're gold, which is why they're in my, in my list of favorites. They come in so many different colors. Oh no, someone commented not blacks, but the powdery ones, like the. Uh, powdery ones are most flattering. So I read the comment. I read all the comments. Of course I do. And this is like a champagne gold So it's not too yellow, which means that it would really go well with silver and gold and you are then Available just to kind of give you an example. This is the yellow gold. This is the champagne gold You see this gives you a lot of freedom to wear it with any kind of uh, Metals if you are worried about that now I have a crate of shoes in front of me So I'm gonna get it up <laughs> Go and put them all back. Let me know what was your favorite pair out of all of these. Uh, do you have any pairs to recommend me that you think are missing from my wardrobe? I'm super curious to hear. Let me know and then I will see you in my next video. See you guys. Bye!